Hello, this is Václav and this is another video about the Ikaria and in this video we're gonna go through some patch tips and I'm gonna show you some of the sounds you can do with the filter. If you want to see uh, more in depth on what each control does, uh, watch the video manual video first uh, or just enjoy the sounds and the examples. Uh, okay, so let's go into it. The first patch I want to show you is called formant filtering. It's kind of the most basic thing to do. I'm just gonna take a sawtooth, go into the left input and I'm gonna listen to the uh, left output of the filter. So this is um, going to be just uh, two filters in parallel mixed together because if I don't use the right output, the two filters mix and I'm gonna detune uh, the two filters with the stereo knob, add some resonance and yeah. The rest you just listen to. Okay, so this patch I was also uh, using the mod uh, with the envelope follower section in the fast setting, so I used it to add a bit more aggressive signal. Uh, the next patch um, I want to show you is called Quad Acid and it's pretty much the same patch. Uh, I just want to show you how you can get four resonant sweeps in one uh, turn of the knob and then maybe use the envelope to animate that. Okay, so in the second half of the patch, I took the envelope signal and I split it with the stack cable and patched it into the VCA CV input. So um, it was also affecting the output level. So, but basically to get the four sweeps, you just uh, use the stereo knob in the spread somewhere in here and then with the cutoff, you get four resonant sweeps. One. Two, three, 
Okay, so uh, the next patch I want to show you uh, is still a mono patch, and I'm going to use um, two inputs and just one output. And uh, this patch is called um, uh, waveform crossfading. So I'm gonna use the sawtooth and the pulse wave or the, the square wave. Uh, gonna run it to the right input. Uh, and I'm going to use the stereo option in the pan setting. So basically I'm listening to the two filters and with the pan setting I only have now the left filter which is the sawtooth and here to the right I only have the square wave and here in the middle I have both and so you can use it for this sort of like classic um, subtractive mixing of waveforms but uh, both of these waveforms are mixed in a different filter and then mixed together so that uh, gives it quite a different character and of course you can voltage control that crossfading So um, in the second half of patch I added uh, another LFO that was controlling the cutoff of the filter. Before I added that I was using a little bit of the envelope follower signal in the fast setting to make the sound a little bit more aggressive. And then later I was listening to the beyond output which is the difference output between the two filters. So instead of giving me some of the filters it was giving me the spectral difference of filtering sawtooth and a square wave. So uh, the next uh, patch I want to show you is just listening to the beyond output and uh, it's called um, uh, post filter ring modulation. So uh, I'm just gonna do it like this. Uh, I'm still using the pan setting and in the, in the perfect universe uh, because I'm listening to the beyond output. Uh, if both filters are the same level uh, in the final mixing stage, which they kind of should be, the stereo pot in the middle should kind of make them cancel out. So this should somehow be silent. It's not perfect because it's an analog circuit in, in the first place. And then to the left I'm making the sound louder and to the right I'm also making the sound louder but with opposite polarity because uh, one of the filters has the minus sign uh, that's how you do the difference and basically you get a th this is a ring modulator now so if I uh, use a fast signal Hopefully to something similar as the as the oscillator. Maybe a little bit of a resonance. Mm -hmm. 
I get this like a ring modulator after the filter. That's not so common in subtractive synthesis, but here it kind of works for you for free. I guess this gives it like a really nice character. You can make it much so softer. The stereo knob. Okay, so this was the ring modulation after the filter using the beyond output. Of course, with this patch, once you, you know, once you tune to close to the frequency of the incoming oscillator, it starts to make this like slower modulation. It's sort of like a, a beating frequency between the two uh, oscillators. And uh, here, obviously, it's also fun to switch the mode. So now, uh, instead, I'm detuning the two filters in the spread mode. Audio modulating the filter always uh, does a good job. Uh, let's see uh, how it uh, works if you do it in stereo. So I'm listening to the left and right. So now this is just a slow modulation. I hope you're listening with headphones or on a good stereo system now. Bring up the modulation to audio rate. patch I would like to show you a little bit more of the envelope follower section so I'm gonna run a different signal from the OPZ which is just gonna be a simple beat okay so I'm filtering this beat and I'm gonna filter the signal, get rid of some of the high end, and now turning up the 
the mod and changing the different um, response setting of the envelope flower will modulate the filter. Okay, so I was uh, using the envelope follower in the negative and positive range, uh, turning the cutoff to either low pass or high pass, and that was giving a lot of different results uh, with uh, how the signal is processed. So with the kick or the loudest part of the signal, you could get a lot uh, less high frequencies or low frequencies, or with the fast, it was sort of like uh, audio rate modulating the filter. So the next patch is like very similar to this one and uh, it is uh, envelope flower side chaining. So I'm gonna be using the same beat but uh, I'm gonna use a different signal to be filtered. I'm just gonna listen only to uh, that signal. So it's uh, sort of like a nice drone. So when I play the beat, like the beat is actually playing, I'm just like not really listening to it, but I can bring in the... So an important thing to know about the envelope follower is that it listens only to the left channel, not to the right channel. So I'm filtering the drone through the right filter and into the left filter I'm injecting the beat from the OPZ.
Okay, so what I was doing was that um, I basically took the two signals. Uh, I was not only listening to the sort of a sidechain filtered drone, but I also took the drum beat, mixed it externally, and then I just like took out both cables and just listened to it directly through the left output because that's mixed in there. I switched to the pen setting, which is basically changing the level of the left and the right filter. And basically I use that to mix the two signals together. So basically you can also use the Ikaria as a sort of a mixer to mix the two signals and use it in the panning mode um, to crossfade between those two as we did with the waveform uh, crossfading. Okay, so the next patch I want to show you, I would call aggressive filtering. So um, this filter uh, is 12 decibel per octave steep, but if you put the two filters in series, you can actually get a steeper filtering curve, which would be 12 decibels per octave. So I would run a signal through the left filter, then go through, through the left output into the right input and go uh, from the right output uh, to my monitoring. So like this, I'm going through the left filter and then after it in series through the right filter. So uh, I will have everything in the middle, no resonance. So this way uh, the filter is open but now it's gonna act as a 24 dB filter. Which is especially uh, pronounced in the high pass region. So most 24 dB filters are just low pass, but here you can get like really steep uh, high pass filtering as well. And then when you add the resonance, of course, Okay, so this was the 24 dB filtering. What I did later in the patch it was that I brought up the input level, which was basically overdriving the filters, and I also brought up the resonance. So the first filter uh, was kind of mildly overdriving, but the signal was already boosted and it added the resonance. And then when it went through the second filter, it was boosted again and then overdrove the second filter again and ag again edit resonance. So that was the really aggressive um, type uh, of sound you heard. I was modulating it just with an envelope. And uh, later in the, in the example, I also turned the stereo uh, pot, uh, which basically detuned the two filters. Turning it to the right didn't do as much because basically the, the second filter was tuned lower than the first, so it was filtering a lot more, but 
in the uh, in the opposite example, uh, basically the first filter was tuned lower than the second filter, and then that made a lot more impact on the sound. So yeah, aggressive filtering patch. So uh, the next one I want to show you, and it's basically the last two patches I want to go through are uh, basically using the Ikaria as a voice. So uh, I'll just take some uh, rhythmic signal here and I'm just going to listen through the left output. So I'm just sending a pulse, like a rhythmical information into the filter and listening to both filters mixed together. And let's see what we can do. I will also do some internal frequency modulation with the envelope follower later in the patch. Okay, so that was a bit of an example of pinging the filter. What I did later here is that I took um, the beyond output and we were listening in stereo with the left and the beyond, so addition and subtraction of the two. It has like sort of weird disorienting feeling to it. And then I took the beyond output and used it to modulate the curve of the filter. And then uh, I put the resonance all the way up and then just use the follow output to modulate the output VCA. And I went through the different speeds. So basically the filter is self oscillating now, but uh, uh, patching the follow uh, output into the VCA input just uh, makes the output silent. And then as I bring the input up, uh, there's gonna be some sort of envelope at the follow output that's gonna open the output VCA. So uh, the picking was not only um, based on uh, the edge case of the resonance, but the resonance was on full and I could much better control 
what could be happening. With the input level. Okay. Uh, there is one patch I actually forgot to forgot to mention, and uh, that patch is called Beyond Stereo. Now that we've been listening with the left out uh, as the mm, left channel and beyond as the right channel, let's just filter some sawtooth in the settings. In the setting, let's just make it clean. Uh, now this type of filtering has a like, weird disorienting feeling to it because uh, with uh, one ear I'm listening to the addition of the two filters and with one I'm listening to the difference. And it's even weirder when you listen on speakers because then the signals also mix in a physical space. So you should definitely go and try that. So that was a, a patch to show you how you can use sort of like these two different types of dual peak filters in stereo. Uh, I was modulating the stereo knob later at audio rate. Um, yeah, adding a bit more of the fast envelope follower modulation to make the sound a bit more aggressive, adding a resonance of course. So yeah, uh, and the last patch I want to show is a self oscillating patch. So uh, the filter self oscillates on its own. I can detune, detune them. But what if you um, sort of like took uh, the self oscillation further because the resonance sort of stops when it uh, oscillates with a, with a quite a nice sine wave. But if I take the right output and go to the left input, it's basically also doubling the uh, left input into the uh, right input <laughs> and then it's making a feedback loop that, it, that is going to produce like much stronger resonance as I, as I bring up the input level and you, you hear this like sort of like sub sonic beat mix it with the resonance so you can actually make much slower things like that, but uh, it's uh, also fun to uh, pump up the patch a little bit more by modulating the stereo with the beyond and I'm just gonna let you listen to what it does.
Okay, so um, basically I was just like tweaking knobs, uh, not really knowing what uh, to expect. But uh, as soon as you do, do something like that, um, like a heavy feedback system that influences itself, also uh, with the voltage, you get a lot of chaotic behavior. So there was like this sort of white noise territory at the end of the high pass mode. And there is just like a lot of different uh, sounds you can get this way. And then of course you can use an LFO uh, and modulate it, which I did later to get even some sort of like strange like rhythms with the analog chaos um, computer, uh, to call it that way. So uh, these were my uh, patch tips for the Ikaria. Uh, if you want to know more about the specific controls of the Ikaria, please watch the Ikaria manual video. Uh, there is also some nice illustrations in the manual of the Ikaria itself. And this has been Václav and thank you for watching.